Your pancreas is a multifunction organ that plays a crucial role in digestion, in addition to releasing vital hormones such as insulin and glucagon, both of which regulate blood glucose levels. Without a healthy functioning pancreas, many things can go wrong in your body. The most common pancreatic diseases are pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, and diabetes mellitus. Let us put in perspective how dangerous these conditions can be. For example, pancreatic cancer is the 12th most common cancer worldwide. It is the seventh leading cause of cancer death globally, with approximately 466,000 deaths in 2020. Moreover, diabetes alone contributed to 6.7 million deaths in 2021. This is why in this video, we will reveal to you 10 early signs of pancreatic disease you should never ignore. Each of these signs alone may not be a strong indicator of pancreatic disease. However, experiencing more than one sign at the same time is a strong indicator. So we recommend you stay until the end of the video so that you're knowledgeable of all the signs. Pay attention until the very end because number 10 is the most dangerous. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. Number one, abdominal pain. One of the main symptoms of pancreatic disease is abdominal pain. Anatomically, your pancreas is located behind your stomach. So pancreatic pain is felt along the upper left side or the middle of your abdomen. You'll feel it as a dull pain that often radiates to the back. When your pancreas is inflamed, the blood vessels inside it widen, causing it to swell and enlarge. Abdominal pain in pancreatic diseases is felt due to the pressure exerted by the diseased pancreas on the surrounding organs and nerves. Abdominal pain can also be a strong indicator for pancreatic cancer as it affects 70 to 80% of pancreatic cancer patients. Number two, fatigue. Feeling a persistent and constant fatigue can be attributed to numerous causes, including pancreatic diseases. When your pancreas is inflamed, your body exerts massive effort to try to combat this condition. Significant amounts of energy are used up in this process, which can leave you exhausted for no obvious reason. Also, as we'll explain later in this video, pancreatic diseases decrease the absorption of nutrients that are essential for energy production in your body. Chronic fatigue is reported by approximately 70 to 90% of patients with pancreatic cancer. So even though fatigue is a general sign, yet it can still help in the early detection of pancreatic diseases if accompanied by another sign from this video. Number three, jaundice. Jaundice is described as the yellowish discoloration of your skin and the white parts of your eyes. This is a manifestation of the accumulation of the bilirubin pigment in your tissue. But what is bilirubin anyways? Well, bilirubin is the product of the breakdown of hemoglobin in old red blood cells in the liver. Normally, the liver excretes bilirubin in the intestines via the bile ducts. At the end, bilirubin is expelled out with stool. However, to reach the intestines, the bile ducts must pass through the head of the pancreas. This is when problems arise. Whether the pancreas is inflamed or has a tumor growing in it, its head will enlarge. Consequently, the bile duct will be blocked, and bilirubin won't be excreted in the intestines. Bilirubin will then accumulate in the blood and deposit in body tissues, causing yellowish discoloration. Number 4. Unintentional weight loss. Most people are joyful when they realize they lost weight. But did you know that this could be a sign for a serious underlying pancreatic disease? If you hadn't made any significant changes in your diet or physical activities, then sudden marked weight loss should be a cause for concern. One of the critical functions of the pancreas is the production of digestive enzymes and sending them to the intestine to help in digestion. Without these enzymes, your body can't break down the large, insoluble food molecules you eat into small, soluble, and absorbable molecules. To put it in simpler words, Without the pancreatic digestive enzymes, you won't absorb the food you eat. If your body isn't getting enough carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, then you'll start losing weight. In addition to that, in case of pancreatic cancer, the cancer cells will deplete your body's stores of carbohydrates, 
fats, and proteins, which will also lead to tremendous weight loss. Number five, loss of appetite. Feeling full, nauseous, or discomfort after you eat can all be signs of pancreatic disease. These symptoms will cause you to lose the desire to eat. Since the pancreas is located extremely close to your stomach and your intestines, most conditions that affect the pancreas tend to cause a loss in appetite. This can be due to pressure on these organs from the enlarged and inflamed pancreas. Moreover, the release of inflammatory molecules from the pancreas can reach and irritate surrounding organs, which leads to nausea and discomfort. According to statistical data, loss of appetite affects around 80% of patients with pancreatic cancer. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number six, nausea and vomiting. The blockage of the digestive tract by large pancreatic tumors can cause food to back up, leading to nausea and vomiting. Furthermore, dysfunction in pancreatic enzymes synthesis can result in indigestion, which further contributes to these symptoms. Number seven, changes in stool appearance. The change of stool due to pancreatic diseases is known as steatorrhea. Steatorrhea is due to the presence of excessive amounts of fats in your stool. If there are problems in your pancreas, your stool will be looser and will acquire a pale, clay-like color. Additionally, the fat will make your stool foul-smelling, and you may notice that it floats. As we mentioned before, in pancreatic diseases, pancreatic enzymes aren't properly formed and released to the intestine. Out of these enzymes are fat-digesting enzymes. If these enzymes are not released, fats are not properly digested and absorbed. They remain in your digestive tract and are excreted with stool. Number eight, diabetes. There are cells in your pancreas known as beta cells responsible for the release of insulin into the blood. Insulin is the hormone responsible for regulating your blood sugar levels. In case of pancreatic disease, Insulin-producing beta cells are damaged, so insulin production in your body decreases. The lack of insulin can lead to persistently high sugar levels in your blood. Over time, this will cause diabetes and its subsequent complications. The main symptoms of diabetes include persistent high blood sugar levels, constant thirst, frequent urination, and slow healing of wounds. Diabetes is considered an early sign denoting pancreatic disease especially if you have no family history of diabetes. Number nine, dark urine. Remember the accumulated bilirubin we talked about earlier? Well, jaundice isn't the only manifestation it causes. Since the diseased pancreas blocking the bile duct prevents bilirubin excretion via stool, bilirubin is excreted via an alternative route instead. Your kidneys filter bilirubin from your blood and excrete it in the urine. The presence of bilirubin gives urine a dark color. Some people describe that color as tea or cola-like. This symptom is almost always accompanied by jaundice since they both share the same cause. Number 10, blood clots. Out of all these signs, blood clots are the most life-threatening. You see, pancreatic cancer can increase the risk of blood clots due to the release of procoagulant factors by the tumor cells. These factors cause small fragments of cells in your blood, called platelets, to stick together and cause blood clots. The threat is when these blood clots block vital vessels, such as those supplying the heart, lung, or the brain. Blood clots will cause pain or tenderness and swelling in the affected organ. If the blood clot affects a superficial organ, such as the arms or legs, you'll feel warmth in the affected area then the affected organ will no longer receive nutrients or oxygen and will die. So these were the top 10 early signs of pancreatic disease you should never ignore. Catching pancreatic conditions early can increase the chances for a better prognosis, so pay attention to what your body has to say. You must never ignore signs from your body. Now we want to hear from you. Have you or anyone you know experienced any of these signs before? According to your doctor, what was the underlying pancreatic disease? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.